Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ian Robinson, and I'm sitting down here to, today to talk to Jimmy Rojas from uh, Evolve OH about our RPE Seed program. Um, RPE Seed program is an exploratory topic to seed entrepreneurial energy discoveries in high risk, high reward technical areas for RPE's mission areas. Uh, Jimmy comes to us today from Evolve OH who are focused on producing platinum group metal free hydrogen electrolysis units uh, for green hydrogen production. Um, Jimmy, uh, if, if you wanna go ahead and introduce your company and your, your technology and, and kind of explain why it's important to decarbonize hydrogen production and why this is important to do without platinum group metals, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Jimmy and I am the founder of Evolo. We work on pure water AEM electrolysis. Now, the costs of uh, electricity are, are coming down and this trend is expected to continue. But that makes the capital cost of electrolyzers the next bottleneck. There are different ways to decrease uh, the capex. You can improve manufacturing processes, you can increase the current density of your electrolyzers. You can increase the, uh, decrease the bill of materials. That means getting rid of the super expensive platinum group metals or PGM uh, that you need in your electrolyzers. But it's more than just cost. Uh, we should strive to develop a system based on 100% domestic supply chains. That is going to lead to redundancy of suppliers in America, uh, which then leads to supply chain resilience. Now, at Evolo, we actually check all of those boxes. We focus on manufacturing. We try to increase our current density. And yes, we get rid of uh, PGM metals. Now, why is this difficult? Because getting rid of PGM materials uh, means that you need to sacrifice some, something else. For example, you need to add a corros corrosive electrolyte, let's say potassium hydroxide or some sort of carbonate, which in the end is going to increase your, operate, your operating expenses or OPEX. We don't do that at Evolo. We have not only a low CAPEX, but also no corrosive liquids at all. That means high pressure, that means very simple balance of plant, and in general, a very comprehensive solution that actually checks all the boxes. Kind of at a high level, uh, would you be able to, to speak to how these specific technology works, um, the, the mechanism of, of hydrogen production? First, we should probably take a step back and remember the incumbent technologies. First, you have the PEM electrolyzers, which are beautiful and wonderful systems, but incredibly expensive. And that is just because of nature. There is not much you can do about it. And then you have your classic alkaline electrolyzers that have been around for over 100 years. And these are systems that don't perform really well, but they are very low cost. So it is very common to ask binary questions when trying to solve problems in the energy field. But I think th that's the wrong approach. As a systems person, the ideal system is one that optimizes multiple variables. It's not just cost or performance, but rather an optimization of variables, specifically durability, scalability, manufacturability, and we have innovations and obviously IP on those three areas. So let's start with the first one, durability. This is a material, specifically a polymer that came out of the ARPA Ionics program. We have not only the people involved in that project a few years ago, developing this for the past decade or so in the team, but obviously IP and the know-how. Number two, scalability. All of this was, uh, optimized in a way that we need only water, only water and nothing else uh, apart from the electricity. And so in the end, you get your high pressure hydrogen from pure water, minimizing the cost of the, what we call the balance of plant, which is the systems around the electrolyzer. So water comes in and you get your, and you get your high pressure hydrogen on the other side. That, that hydrogen doesn't have liquid water or anything like that. And then finally, like I said, manufacturability. Every single component in our system is optimized for manufacturability. Again, like I said earlier, we are trying to check all the boxes. Apart from all of this, 
we have a team with decades of experience designing stacks and developing hydrogen projects in the field. I guess getting into you know where where you see Evolo H long term, what 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 kind of technical risks do you expect to challenge and uh, to challenge you in a in your ten year journey to hopefully become a, a widespread hydrogen producer? Uh, we know hydrogen will be a critical, essential part of the energy mix in the future. And even though multiple technologies and companies will get a piece of the pie, uh, we want to be the leaders in the electrolysis space. Now, when it comes to challenges, by the end of the day, it's all about lifetime. But here's the trick. If you have a, an incredibly low cost system, even if your electrolyzer only lasts for, let's say, worst case scenario, five years, you can easily replace it. Because by the end of the day, you're only using steel. And it's not even fancy 316 steel. It's the cheapest steel you can imagine. You're not using any sort of platinum group metals or anything like that. You just change, you just change your stack, put a new one, and your financials are still going to be green. That's the idea. Now, we want to do this for the country as well. We want to create jobs in America, focus on American suppliers, make sure the U.S. can lead in green hydrogen production. That's that's great, and, and we, we definitely hope that, that that can be accomplished. And I, I wanted to kind of get to, you know, what, what has it been like to work with RPE as a small business? Uh, it has been an amazing experience that, to be honest, I did not expect. Uh, I got my PhD from Stanford working under Dr. Arun Majumdar. Uh, he was the founding director of RPAE. So I've heard wonderful things about RPAE for the past five, six, seven years. Uh, but actually working with RPAE directly uh, still surprised me. Every meeting is an incredibly technical meeting. It's, it's never about the money. The money is obviously helpful, and that's initially why we applied. But by the end of the day, the wonderful questions that the program managers asked us really has uh, had an impact in how the, the technology and the research has moved forward. So it's been a lot more than just the money. And we very much hope to win another grant and continue working with our pay because I see them as advisors. I see them in some cases as board members with some of their business suggestions. Uh, it's been it's been truly wonderful. Thank you for for taking the time to sit down and talk about uh, Evolo H with us today, Jimmy. Um, we wish you the best of luck with uh, your your current project, and we'd like to see what we, what's going to come of that. Thank you so much. It has been a real honor to work with our family.